Hey guys, Steph Mischuk with Killer Sights. You know, with this new camera, video camera here, one right here, uh, the video quality may not be as good as my ultra expensive camera, which I just sold, by the way. Uh, and I sold it because, and it goes to a larger point. You know, it has something to do with web design and web programming, nothing to do with camera. Well, it has something to do with cameras, but it's all about web design. Anyway, hold on. Uh, as you, if you guys have been following me for a while, you've noticed that I, you know, we put out videos, but in terms of video blogs like this, they were scarce. And the reason they were scarce is though I had this, this kick-ass, beautiful camera shot, amazing video, is a real pain in the butt to set up uh, to actually film. And uh, because it wasn't really designed for a guy like a solo guy like me who just wants to come up with an idea, oh, I got an idea, okay, let's put it on the camera. It literally took me 10 minutes to 15 minutes to sort of set up a shot. And so the workflow was really, really slow. Besides that, with the old camera, uh, to uh, then to render the video and so on, it was a real pain in the butt because of incompatibility with the video types. Anyway, I'll, I'll spare you the details. Bottom line is, Though the other camera produced really great images and great video uh, quality, it was very, very difficult to work with. So uh, my, the number of videos I put out was far fewer than there should be. So what I decided to do is, said, you know what, I'm going to go for a much easier, faster workflow. Uh, with the camera that I'm currently using. And, and as you guys, I'm sure, are seeing, I'm putting out videos like crazy. I can't stop myself because it's just too easy with this camera. It literally takes me 10 seconds, not even 10 seconds, three seconds where it used to take me 15 minutes just to set up a shot. And the rest of the, the production workflow in creating the video blogs and the videos is just so much easier. So. The quality of the video is a little bit less, although I think most people would think that the video is very clear and it looks good. Uh, but because of the, the uh, super fast workflow, this ca camera is a no-brainer because I'm getting out the content and it's cool. This lesson can be applied to web design and web programming. You got to be careful to not let yourself get caught up in trying to get the absolute best quality ever, but then slow the whole process of getting the sites done uh, or, or the application running, uh, bringing that to, a, to, to, to its knees, slowing it down to a crawl. You know, there's, there's the good enough principle. And uh, Microsoft, of course, was masters of that, you know. Put out something so it works. It may not be perfect, but get it out there. Get it out quick so that people can use it, work it, and give you feedback, tell you what's wrong, what's not right, and so on. And this has many advantages. Number one, getting out there into the market quick is huge. And let me give you an example. Let's look at PS3, PlayStation 3 versus the Xbox 360. Now, with the Xbox, Everybody will acknowledge it's a piece of junk hardware. You know, this, this thing fails constantly. It, 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 it's, it's ridiculous how badly designed the thing was. You know, Xbox is being trash is, is so common. Uh, whereas the PS3, it's like, it's beautiful engineering. It's as solid as a rock. But despite the fact that the PS3 is far superior, it took them an extra year or two to get out after the Xbox 360. Uh, so the Xbox had 360 uh, had a, a lot, uh, had a head start in terms of establishing market and so on. And as far as I know, still to this day, the Xbox still dominates sales over the PS3, despite the fact uh, that the PS3 is a far superior piece of hardware. So again, the good enough principle. Now, uh, the, again, the good enough principle at play. Excuse me. Uh, now I think X, I think Microsoft, you know, they didn't get it even good enough with the Xbox. But the point is that they got it out there, so it's functional, it's working, and they just dealt with the problems. Now the same thing with software. Now I'm not saying you should put out something that breaks like an Xbox. No, it should work, it should be solid, so on. But you don't optimize too, 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 too much and spend, you know, 
you know, add double the time to your project's development time because you want to optimize everything. Get it out so it works, you know, fairly clean. And ultimately, you want to get any website or any web applica application into the hands of your clients or end users in case you're building something for your own business. Uh, you want to get it into the hands of the end users as quickly as possible because they're going to give you the best feedback. They're the ones who are going to find all the bugs and break things. And ultimately, they're going to tell you how things have to be changed so it works more efficiently for them. Trying to come up with the master plan and have the perfect software that won't be uh, changed is, is not only not realistic, it practically never happens. Everything has to be upgraded. Everything has to be changed. You might as well get it out there as quickly as possible uh, so that uh, you, know, you can get that feedback. Getting back to workflow, what all tie, it all ties in. Uh, one of the reasons uh, you want to get into maybe a code editor, if you're a coder, or maybe a web design program, is that you want that quick workflow and that quick turnaround. You know, just having some hotkeys, some color coding for your PHP code or your JavaScript and your HTML, uh, code completion, uh, uh, FTP built into your app so you can uh, check in and you know upload uh, upload content quickly without having to go through all these you know different programs. This all plays into the workflow, and over time it will really speed up your production process, saving a lot of time in the end. You got to remember, if you can get something done with one or two clicks versus ten, you know, or two keyboard strokes versus five. This may not seem like much at the time, but you add, you, you, you do you repeat this, these savings, you know, times, you know, 500 times a day, a thousand times a day, all of a sudden you're, you're, you're talking real time here that you're saving or wasting, depending on, you know, your situation. And that really plays, uh, figures prominently rather, into how productive and how profitable you're going to be in the end. So yes, consider workflow. Sometimes it makes sense, point number two, sometimes it makes sense to sacrifice a bit of quality, a bit of polish, so that you can get things up and out and running as quickly as possible. So to conclude, that all said, I hope that this uh, slightly less quality but easier to produce video is acceptable to you guys, and I expect to be putting out more of these things on a uh, regular basis. So um, that's it, bye.